finally, 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 after I don't know how long, Princeton has finally gotten updated. So the new things that have been added is the Princeton City Fire Department, Trucking and Economy System, Major Map Extension, and Major Bug Fixes. Now what's to come? More jobs, Federal Department, Map Extensions, and Major Changes. Now what I think is the absolute coolest part of this is the Economy System, because now there is actually something to do in the game. So as you can see, we're right in the, in the spawn area. If you press this little button down here, you will get access to the phone in the phone you can look up jobs and you can select a job so essentially i've already done this but so my current job is a professional truck driver i can show you how it works but there is a 24 hour cooldown if you do leave your job bam professional truck driver bam bam apply Thank you very much. So once you have selected a job, you go into contracts. And with the contracts, here is where you can make money. So if you look these up, you will see how much they pay. So each of these pay differently. The highest paying one is contract one. Route E6 to G7. Payment $244. Castle King is requested general food supplies. 50 boxes of general food supplies. Okay. So if I press accept here, uh, here we go. We will now see a sort of location. So let me just open my map. So this is your contract pickup so let's spawn a truck now i'm not entirely sure if all these different trucks work for this i'm gonna grab this random pickup just to see if it's possible to you know work this out essentially what you do is you roll into here back into this red box so to speak and now as you can see we are moving cargo now sadly you can't really see when you have loaded up your supplies but it will show up here and the box will disappear so right now we're in transit so we're gonna check out where we deliver this it seems to be over at f7 but let's just drive over there and deliver these beautiful goods now you will see why this update is so cool in just a second here because once we get here and we actually deliver these goods like just like that that went really quickly then you have successfully you know finished the contract and uh, then your funds should appear in your account in just a few minutes now once your funds do appear in your account you can also check your bank balance of course uh we gotta go back so yeah here current account and i just made 237 bucks from the contract and you can also transfer money to other users and stuff which is really cool for uh role play you know now what really makes this amazing is the fact that you can now with the money you have made go purchase a gun and now you don't have to worry about losing your gun because you can simply make more money and go buy a new one so there's no need to create a new character every time anymore just to afford forward a gun which makes the game a whole lot more enjoyable all right so let me just show you all real quick what the new gun system looks like in my opinion it looks a whole lot better but gunshots and gun sounds are a little i don't know a lot of people have been complaining well not a lot but a few people have been complaining and i think they can certainly be improved but yeah, I really like the guns, more of the fact that sights and scopes, you know, they look a whole lot more realistic than before. And overall, it's just a, a lot cooler. It does bring more realism to the game and uh, you can have more fun RPs with it. Now for the police, you will notice that some new things have been added. Some quite cool things you see here. We actually got uh, helmets, vests. You got a bunch of different armories. So these are for different police units, you could say. And here's for the normal patrol armory, the normal uniforms and stuff. More guns, etc. will be added in the future. But right now, this is what we got. I like it though. Here we're down in the parking garage. You will see here are all the police vehicles i think these have gotten some slight improvements and updates as well cars in my opinion are pretty amazing in the game and uh, yeah i don't think we should be switching them or anything like that obviously we could work on them more but what i love most about the cars overall are these suspensions the suspensions are really nice super smooth and all this but enough with that we're gonna go on to the fire department team because this is a new team in game so pfd this is not rank locked at the moment i'm pretty sure so that's good to see so you got the uniforms you can put them on and you got a little nice helmet here all these are custom made which is amazing the character models are a bit unique for our game i would say uh, they are really nice that way i have a lot of opinions but in my opinion the fire department team is one of the most important teams we've got it's a really cool one and not enough games focus a lot of time and effort with 
fire department stuff. However, it's really fun to be a firefighter. It's a really interesting job. Now, the issue is there are no vehicles currently uh, spawnable. So you can't spawn any vehicles for this team just yet. There are vehicles, but they haven't been uh, properly implemented. So you can't spawn them. However, I can promise you the fire department will be focused on a lot it will be a great team a great experience people will have a lot of fun here now same obviously goes for uh, tools you know no tools no vehicles currently exist for this team but the team itself does exist along with its uniforms and some nice helmets and stuff but yeah this will be focused on a lot the fire department team will be a great addition to the game and not just that but uh, both fire department police and all this will slowly start getting paychecks just the same way that uh, truck drivers do not by contracts but by actually being on the team you know working let me show you all uh, the map extensions ex expansions and stuff you know a lot of changes has been done to the map itself uh, i do not know what happened or why i'm under my own car i did not press anything uh well buy a car an alien took over well as mentioned a lot of new stuff has been added the map has been changed now obviously as you open the minimap here you will be able to see a bunch of locations objectives landmarks and all this but if you have played the game before you will spot a few new areas and not just areas but um, changes as well the place does not look the same as it used to you know the base city here is pretty much the same not any huge changes to it but over here you start noticing things that haven't been here before this whole new area here yeah this part of the map used to be a whole lot different it did not look like this before but it's really cool that we are seeing uh, big map changes and extensions you know for gameplay sake you want to have a big map but not so big that it causes issues because that's not fun but big enough that you can you know drive around for a bit explore and rp and one of the key factors that actually plays a role uh, with this game for instance is the roleplay aspect so the fact that the map is a bit small will most likely stay decently small obviously expansions will be added but we want to keep it small and add as many gameplay features as possible in the small space that there is and this is to enhance rp and so players can greatly appreciate the game now thank you all so much for watching this video i know the update was a little bit rushed through this is because the developers you know they they have stuff to do in real life they are not full-time devs they have real jobs they have stuff to do so i can't blame them and you can't blame them either but yes the game is functional and stuff will be fixed and there will be more bug fixes and stuff added shortly for example vehicles for the fire department tools and all that as well as improve the gameplay so y'all just gotta wait there is so much more to come and i hope y'all enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching